Hello everybody, um, this is the astrology report for the week of uh, September 25th, uh, October 2nd of uh, 2016. Uh, just of the beginning to go back a little bit, uh, a lot of you last week uh, felt uh, this uh, crossroad. felt this uh, position that uh, you there was a this tension of uh, each way you have to go each way you have to move um, each way was a um, the positions that you want to go um, as of right now uh, the moon is in Leo uh, there is a trigger with uh, Leo you to grow to outgrow uh, your uh, pass over your uh, your ego um, the moon right now it's in a pretty good uh, uh, trying uh, with Saturn to you to look the secret stuff uh, of the ego how to adjust how to get the, the things a little bit differently uh, and uh, as of right now uh, also what's happening is that uh, Mars this week is going to be moving out of uh, Sagittarius of this uh, meditation. The warrior is going to move for this meditation. It's now about time for performance. It's now about time to serve the public. It's now about the time you to get out of your skin and get to work. The Mars is going to be at the right place for you to find a new job, the right place, the right timing. Uh, and the right uh, position which is, is a Capricorn uh, to remind you Capricorn is the public servant uh, those are the people who choose professions as the doctors police officers uh, some of the lawyers some of the uh, very specific uh, public servants uh, they are Capricorn and right now when the Mars getting in a Capricorn is going to be this fire of uh, the warrior to serve uh, the same time what we have right now also it's uh, Venus is right now in uh, Scorpio which is his love it's inside of the shadow and your own shadow to give a light with love of your uh, uh, underworld of your darkness and there's going to be some lot of transformations going uh, usually the astrology is talking about Venus and uh, Scorpio it's in a dark and it's in a very dark place but if you take a look at it this is the love uh, uh, that uh, actually it's put into the dark to gain its strength and that's what Scorpio is Scorpio gains its inner strength with the sacred love and that's why some of you are gonna face this sacred love Currently, the Sun and the Jupiter are together. Uh, very, very powerful position. A very powerful position. It creates a, a square with Mars who go into Capricorn. Uh, and that's why you can feel a tense uh, energies. So, um, to begin uh, this, uh, we're gonna be uh, looking at uh, how the situation will be on uh, on Monday. Um, so we begin to on Monday at nine in the morning. Uh, the moon is gonna be uh, uh, in Leo, and at that time, uh, nine o'clock New York time, uh, you will feel uh, some message to you. And that's going to be from uh, retrograde Pluto and uh, retrograde uh, Neptune. Uh, Pluto is in Capricorn uh, and uh, Neptune is in Pisces, which is, is a service, new hope for you to become the king or the queen. And that's what a lot of you within the soul is going to face this. Um, the moon is going to be 13 degrees of uh, 
of uh, Leo, so beginning this morning uh, you will face uh, everything uh, on it. Um, Monday also uh, we're going to have this transition of Mars, as I say, from Sagittarius to Capricorn. A lot of you are going to start feeling this uh, inner change. Uh, this uh, inner uh, work uh, inside of you that needs to be done and um, uh, that will be going on throughout the day uh, you will see um, Mars is going to be moved and uh, we're talking about uh, by the end of the day uh, Mars is actually finally is going to get out and a Tuesday morning Mars already is going to be exactly at zero degree, at zero minutes in uh, Capricorn. Uh, we're talking about three o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And for us, because we not everybody wake up, let's say around nine o'clock, he's going to be at nine, uh, at nine uh, seconds uh, of uh, Capricorn. And that's going to be on Tuesday. The moon is still going to be on Leo. It's going to be have this beautiful trine, though. Uh, there's going to be this beautiful trine between uh, the moon, uh, which is, is in 25 degrees of Leo, uh, uh, Uranus, which is, is in 23 degrees of uh, Aries, and Mars uh, is going to help to do this transition within fire. So it's going to bring this very powerful energy for you to make this transition, to make this decision to go to work, to get to work, to do the work, to empower yourself to have this emotion. And this is going to be a Tuesday morning. If you're someplace else in the world, go ahead and uh, describe those hours or find uh, uh, if you can go to the astroteam.com uh, uh, you will find yourself. You just have to put uh, that instead of looking at the city of New York, your own city of wherever you close by and you live by. So uh, this is going to be for Tuesday on Wednesday. Uh, the moon it's already is going to be in Virgo. So it's time to let go of the past and heal. Uh, this is going to be very powerful energy on it. Uh, heal right there uh, mercury is gonna be in Virgo it's already direct it's gonna help okay time to heal time to move time to get this part out the emotion is gonna be okay whatever it was it was it's time to move it's time to get on uh, the Sun is gonna be uh, moving away from uh, Jupiter uh, that uh, energy is still gonna be together but uh, the sun will move one degree away from Jupiter and um, this uh, uh, tense energy with Mars is gonna be uh, start getting you know, less uh, there's gonna be some more uh, peaceful energy within inside specifically between uh, the moon and uh, Pluto um, this uh, service uh, for Capricorn is gonna be pretty much okay with it and uh, Thursday, um, the energy is going to be a little uh, tensions uh, still with uh, Mars. Uh, but there's going to be this uh, opposition of, uh, of uh, the moon uh, who's going to oppose in Chiron and Pisces. And that's going to be... Uh, your new hope it's for you to find your new self to heal yourself because Chiron is a um, the wounded healer so the wounded healer is gonna show you the mirror of uh, the moon how you to heal yourself and it's got to be very powerful uh, this opposition because uh, that opposition will will actually explain it to you that two opposing parts uh, facing each other. So when you're watching yourself in the mirror, those are two opposite sides that facing each other and 
that's how you're going to be looking inside of your internal self to see what you need to do it's very good to very positive thing uh, that's going to be on thursday and on friday um the moon uh, actually is going to be moving to libra uh, and um it's going to be very close to jupiter and there's going to be this uh, tense emotions uh, because the sun the jupiter the moon they are going to uh, square mars and all those three of them uh, this is like the mother the father and uh, the growth uh, gonna opposing uh, the warrior is gonna tell him you gotta be very careful what you're doing try not to make a mess try to be what you learn to be if you're going to be angry bad and blah 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 uh, you you will feel these tensions you're there to do service for others that's what capricorn is you know not a good not a bad but the thing it is is that you do a service so a lot of you is gonna feel uh, like oh my gosh i hope it worked this job's gonna be finished i'm tired of all these pressures i just want to get home and this is gonna be for a lot of you uh they want to do this part and it's gonna be done through talk and what i mean through talk is because mercury who is a virgo he's gonna be trying Pluto and Capricorn and Pluto is gonna be come direct already at this time and also Pluto uh, it's uh, within 60 degrees uh, with uh, Neptune which is just give you a new hope and that's gonna be a direction for you to move to flow and you might end up with people there on the stage and that is about Friday. On Saturday, uh, this is gonna be still these tense energies. Um, the moon is gonna be in the middle of Libra, and uh, throughout the day, uh, it's gonna be moved uh, over and over, and uh, it's gonna be uh, opposing at some time uh, Uranus. And this is going to be very tense energies because uh, the universe is going to tell you it's time to you to do this and the ego is going to be on the other side. No, I won't. No, I won't. I'm opposing you. And a lot of you is going to be shut down. And you experience those shutdowns when you get angry all of a sudden like you have no powers. Like somebody just turn off your keys like no, no, no. And that's what uh, Uranus, when it's retrograde in Aries, does. Uh, shut yourself. I am in charge. Not you, not your ego. I am the charge. I am the universe. And this is what some of you felt, this uh, tiredness, this sleepiness. But if you respond with the right way throughout the universe, uh, everything goes nice and smooth. And uh, some of you got that part. And congratulations you're doing the right thing and on sunday we gonna be october 2nd uh this uh, the moon it's gonna be at 27 degrees and you're still gonna feel these tensions from uranus uh the moon is in 27 degrees of libra uranus is 23 degrees of aries four degrees through it so you gotta be very careful uh, during these positions of uh, who you're talking, how you're talking. How is your emotion towards the people around you and what you're trying to achieve. Uh, there's gonna be um, uh, this uh, sextile towards uh, Mercury who is in 22 degrees of Virgo. And uh, at the same time, the trine with Pluto will help a lot uh, to calm down those emotions. And this is uh, how it's gonna be for the next week. Thank you so much for watching this video and I would love your comments and be loved.